So for this problem, again, let's go ahead and isolate it the first. Let's go and look in what we have on the interior. We have h of 3a. So if we have h of 3a, let's just write down what h of x is. h of x equals x squared plus 6x plus 8, right? So if I say what is h of 3a, you guys can determine h of 3a is equal to 3a squared plus 6 times 3a plus 8. Would everybody kind of agree understanding with that? It's not a number like it was last time, but it now it's just a, it's an expression that we're plugging in. But we can still simplify this. That's part of the problem right there. It's h of 3a. That's your problem right there. So it says h of 3a. So let's figure out what h of 3a is. We know h of x is here. So if I say now what's h of 3a, you're just going to plug in your 3a wherever you see an x. Right? Yes? Right? Because, I mean, if I did h of, yes. h of negative 1, you just plug the negative 1 in for the x. Now I'm just doing a 3a. Well, 3a squared is 9a squared. 6 times 3a is 18a plus 8. OK? So now we're saying you're going to plug this in for f of x. So now we have f of x equals 5x. Now I want you to do f of h of 3a. So just like we plugged in the 3a for x, we're now going to plug in h of 3a in for this x. So it's going to be 5 times h of 3a. Because that's just the whole process that we do. If I say h of negative 1, you'd put what in for the x? Negative 1, right? No. Yeah, so what I'm saying is if I say f of x, and now I say f of h of 3a, I put an h of 3a in for the x. Now, do we know what h of 3a is? That's why we did it over here. h of 3a is 9a squared plus 18a plus 8, right? So this is just a random example. So therefore, it's going to equal 5 times, what is h of 3a? It's right here. Now, is there any other simplifying I can do? Yeah, you can apply distributive property, right? So that equals 45a squared. That's going to be 36, 72, 80, 90. So there's your final answer. OK? Wham, bam, thank you, man. OK.